We made it again, Vince. All the way to October. And what is October, Vince? It could only be one thing, Dave. One thing and one thing only, and that is... For a month. The first terrifying... Evil Dead. Horrifying... <laughs> it's gonna be Evil Dead. Blu-ray. It's gotta be. Evil Dead. Yeah, so let's take a look at that. Huh? It's evil. When you buy these in the store, they come with stickers all over the front of the packaging, and I hate it. You know, you got the Best Buy sticker here for $24.99. how much I spent on this when it came out. And then you got, like, another sticker there on the bottom about the digital ultraviolet crap that we don't care about. I, I've, I've got that right there. Yeah, but because this is actually a slipcover. It's a cardboard slipcover that, you know, comes on the case. Evil Incarnate. Now, this is your standard, everyday, run-of-the-mill Blu-ray. There's nothing special about this. You know, it pops open from the side. Then we get to the inside itself, and as you can see right there, we have Mia. And the disc itself is kind of cool because it shows a drawing from the Book of the Dead, which is pretty awesome. They did spruce it up just a bit. So first, the picture quality. Spectacular. Fantastic. But as good as it looked, I can tell you, Vince, it sounded even better. This was an actual Blu-ray experience. It sounds like there's flies buzzing around your house. It's so realistic. When I was uh, going back and watching the extras for this and recording them for this uh, review, I heard the flies behind me, and I actually thought there was flies in the house. It, it wasn't the movie, Dave. You're living in the Amityville house. <laughs> Dave has flies. Could be contagious. Are the extras worth this Blu-ray purchase. Let's get into that and actually review these extras one by one. Hit me up with the commentary, Vince. Um, I can't. I didn't hear the commentary. <laughs> There's a commentary? What? You didn't listen to it either? Vince, I go the extra extra mile for, for all of our fans. I will jump out of the plane without a parachute just for our fans. That's what I do. But you, commentary, you don't care about the fans, Vince. <laughs> Well, let me tell you about the commentary since you didn't listen to it, man. No, I still don't care. Uh, basically, here you you have the director, and I don't know if all the actors are there. I think they are uh, talking about the film. But the one thing I came away with after watching his commentary, actually two things I came away with watching the commentary, was one, at some point there's going to be a special edition of Evil Dead coming out. Because apparently he filmed so many extras that aren't in this disc. And he keeps saying, oh, well, that'll be for the special edition. If someday we, we release an extended cut, you'll see the full scene, which was you know, way, way better. I mean, me, I would say way more things if I had more lines. I would say 99.9% .9 of the, all of these effects in this movie were practical effects. They, he almost didn't use digital effects at all for this movie. Everything you see happened on screen. All practical effects. Well, see, I didn't even listen to the commentary, but from the rest of the extras, once we get into that, um, I could tell that, that most of them were practical effects. The one scene that I was watching that really got to me, Vince, you remember where he, like, uh, goes to leave, roads washed out, or the bridge is washed out, and he's standing there, and all the water streaming by? Yeah. When I watched that, it's like, wow, that's so fake looking. I did. It just looked real fake to me, like a real CG, like standard CG river going by. But apparently, it was a practical effect. It was a real effect. That's a real river that was completely flooded. We wait until the river. Uh, we wait for a big rain, and we got a lot of rain for two days, and we sent a, we sent a second unit to get that shot, which is actually the same river that he crosses the, at the beginning of the movie when the jeep crosses the little creek. It's exactly the same place, the same path. I want to use the same exact spot and flood it for real. So we wait wow. until God flooded for us, cool. and we went there and we shot that. What is the first? Um documentary or feature on this uh, Blu-ray? Well, the very first extra on here is called Directing the Dead. It's day one, was sitting down with them and going through the story several times and trying to agree with them, okay, we agree that this makes sense, right? And, and they were all, yes, good, this makes sense. So this feature actually shows Fede Al Alvarez directing the new Evil Dead movie and why they chose him. And, you know, he talks about what he brought to the table as far as, 
making a new Evil Dead and how he actually at first didn't want to do it because he didn't want to uh, ruin anything that Sam Raimi had done. And, I mean, it kind of basically show small clips here and there of people, like, reading, the, going through the reading of the script, walk, sitting around, talk, you know, talking aloud the script so everybody can get into the character. And they showed a couple of behind-the-scenes shots of them, of them like, you know, filming in the, in the cabin. Not a whole lot, but a few. And there were a couple, like I was telling you, all these scenes that cut out of the movie. There was a few scenes in there that, weren't in the film. They showed it on the trailer, but they didn't show it in the film. So yeah, overall this was okay. Um, I wouldn't say it was nothing spectacular, but it was it was pretty good. So the next special feature is Evil Dead the Reboot. What is Evil Dead the Reboot? Evil Dead, the first one was incredibly physically hard and demanding. So we shot on the most primitive of systems. We improvised everything. But it was a great experience, kind of in hindsight, with Sam Bruce and I. We had been lifelong friends as a result of it. Rob Tabbert is basically talking about how he created the original Evil Dead and how they wanted to remake it and how Sam Raimi was all for it and Bruce Campbell didn't really want nothing to do with it. Yeah, he didn't want anything to do with it because he didn't want anyone to redo what he had done. So again, another little interesting extra here. Nothing I didn't think was too outstanding. I mean, there it was. It's interesting. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's it's none of these are very long either. They're all about what would you say about seven, eight minutes, ten minutes maybe at the most. I'd say ten minutes. It was all right. I mean, it gave you some interesting insight into the film. There was not much else there though. So next extra feature that we have is making life difficult. I mean, the movie has a beginning, it has an end. When you do it, so whatever it is, it's not gonna be forever. I gotta say, the pain is temporary, movies are forever. Again, it's a behind the scenes kind of thing, it's a making of kind of thing. And like the other featurettes on this disc, it's interesting, it is it is interesting to watch, it just, it's nothing really all that spectacular. Yeah, it's, it was interesting to hear how they went through the film and their daily grind they had to go through and how they got splattered with blood and how they get vomited on and yeah but it wasn't there was nothing really here that was i could say spectacular what is the next extra babe <laughs> unleashing the evil force ah yeah that, that's that's it Vince. the book of the dead was the germ the seed from which evil dead exploded so when we made the first movie, it was originally entitled Book of the Dead. It was called Book of the Dead because Sam was in ancient history class and heard about the Book of the Dead. And that name stuck with him. And he said, oh, what if somebody finds it? It possesses him. So it was the key that unlocked the whole writing process for him to write the first movie, Evil Dead. This featurette was basically all about the Book of the Dead and how that was actually the focus of the story which was really interesting to me listening to Robert Tapper talk about this and how it's actually the book that's focus that you're supposed to be focused on it's not Ash it's not Mia it's not all these other characters it's actually the book yeah i i agree i think this is probably one of the best extras on here and what's so great about it is they actually show the the new book of the dead and they kind of like show you the pages from it so you can actually look at it and study the stuff that's on there and it's it's just so detailed each each and every page is like you can pause it and just like look at the pages and it's a really interesting extra all about the book of the dead i thought they did a fantastic job with the book of the dead i think it's it, it's good for a really good update i do kind of wish they still kept the 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 face on the front of it though the material is like a like a rubber so the very last extra on the disc is called Being Mia. Here I am in makeup with Claire, makeup artist extraordinaire. She's the one who makes me look beautiful. She makes me feel really good about myself. And this feature, basically, we watch the actress who plays Mia in the film operating the camera and she takes you on a behind the scenes trip to the set uh, I mean from like 
the beginning of her day to the end of her day. And it seemed like there was actually more to this than what they showed, but it, it was actually kind of cool. I actually kind of like this one more than the others, too. And it's just a really great extra. She goes from the chair all the way down to like this hallway looking at all the props and stuff out onto the sound stage. So it's just kind of weird to see she's in this white hallway and just walks out and there's the cabin and the whole trees, the forest. She's like, on oh, the sound stage. I mean, it's a really great extra. Yeah, it is. It, it, I like the way they did that. You know, it's something that it makes it a little more personal because you actually get to see the actress herself, you know, as she goes through that day. The last two are the best ones on here. The rest are okay. They don't really reveal too much. And they don't show too much. You know, I would have liked to see more behind the scenes like they kind of did with the Evil Dead 2 DVD where they show everything that there is to show from the movie. Every little aspect ever. <laughs> so, Vince, for Horror Month this year, our very first Blu-ray review that we've done, what are you going to give it? For the movie and the the sound and the picture clarity, that would definitely get the gold. Oh. Yeah, I agree. Just for the, the picture quality, uh, the sound, especially the sound. The sound just blew me away on, on this. So yeah, oh yeah. Go! I like the extra features. I think they had some good extra features. I don't think they they were all that spectacular though, except for the the last two. So I would actually have to give the extra features. A three out of five. Because commentary was kind of a big part of talking about the making of the film. So with the commentary that Vince didn't care about to bring to the fans and all the other extras, the two really good extras, the other kind of mediocre extras. Just the extras here, I would give a four out of five. So, you know, that was our first Horror Month Blu-ray. And make sure you return, because all month, we're going to have more terrifying, heart-stopping, chilling... You want to add something here, Vince? Gross, vomitous. A what? Exactly. <laughs> like I care.